Mm, the canals continue the tension. A new way to continue the genocide that left over 3 million Biafrans dead. Hello, viewers, welcome to my noble channel. It has been over 60 years that 3 million Biafrans were mowed down by a Nigerian state in collaboration with British government. People like Gowon was regarded as warlord. People like our great Ujuku was regarded by Nigerian state and British government as a rebel. The same British government that aided the Nigerian state to starve innocent children of their friends to death Is now trying to renew another genocide against Ndibu in Biafra land. According to the then Prime Minister of Britain, whatever he calls himself, he said, I quote, the dead. The dead bodies of half a million Biafrans will not force the British to change her policies. Concerning the Nigerian civil war, the Biafra nation cannot be allowed to be, for we do not trust what they will be with their vast resources around the Russians or French. The same British government by trying to renew their genocide against the Ibus, they planned the kidnap of Mazenam the Kano, the voice that the world we are listening to the voice that Africans were listening to. Crying and calling the world to come and see the atrocities being committed by a Nigerian state and the British who made them. It's over so many years that their friends were more than and their children were starved to death. Today, British has renewed the same genocide in different style by adding the same Flanit Janjawi and Yorubas political leaders to murder innocent Ibo Pia France in Lagos. Some of you are saying that I should bring it low. I cannot. What the British government, the atrocities they had that the Nigerian state commit against innocent Bia France, a genocide that they call war. And they were bold to come out. To say that the dead bodies of half a million of Biafrans will not force the British to stop. And that same thing that the so called British Prime Minister said then is what they have continued that event. But I am so ashamed of the Igbo governors whom are collaborating 
whom are complicit to this crime against their people. They believe that Biafrans cannot do anything. They believe that they will continue to keep Biafrans down. They call the Jukwe rebel why they upload that a go one, a war criminal. They called him warlord. A man who collaborated with so many soldiers of Nigeria to rape children. It's only those who don't know the history. I am going to continue to put it the way it is. The British government feels so much that I am accusing them wrongly. Let them come out openly and uh, call for mass and the canoe service. But they will not do that, no matter what you do, because they are complicit to the crime. And this was why, in their court, they openly accepted that Namde Kano was kidnapped illegally. But at the same time, they refused to fight for him. Pretending to say that they would do that in their covenant. Whereas what they meant in essence was that they are not going to fight for Mazen Namdekan, a man with British passport that the same British government planned and collaborated with the Nigerian state with the so-called government to kidnap him. Again. Someone should tell me, have you ever seen a British citizen kidnapped illegally somewhere in Africa and to date he's still in the dungeon in the country that kidnapped him and the country that they came in into to kidnap him is not saying anything they pretend as if nothing is happening why the British that the gentleman was holding their passport genuine passport has refused to do anything and you have not forgotten that when this whole thing happened, three of them came together somewhere in the name of summit. And they congratulated each other for a job well done. British government claimed they left Nigeria, but they did not leave. They continued to control Nigeria. And this was why they did everything possible to make sure that a Janjawi was appointed when they were leaving. That was the mistake of Zeke. I will continue to say it. He was educated, but he allowed himself to be used. Rather, he collaborated with part of the European people to call a Juku a rebel. That would be a story for another day. We are discussing about British government who has refused to allow Bia France to see peace, who has refused to allow Bia France to organize themselves and live peacefully. British government was the people that Togo want to deny the Igbo seaport. British government was the person people that Togo want to deny Igbo's international port. They find every reason to make sure that they strangle the Igbo's in Biafra land. I call it strangle because when you deny the people all sort of things that can make them to develop, that means you are planning for their death, their downfall, and that is what British government did. Or should I say that was what British government did, and they have continued to do that to date, as we speak. Enough of, enough of this trash. Nam the Kano kidnap 
illegally was orchestrated by British government. Let them come out openly and they call for his release before we can begin to understand. But for now, I continue to say that British government are complicit to the crime committed against Mazen Namdekano. His continued detention and every other thing is the handwork of British government. And the Igbo governors knows what I'm talking about. If they swore with Hamadoha, they all will go down. I don't want to continue to beat around the bush. I believe I've made myself clear. We must continue to fight to make sure Namde Kano is out, no matter what anybody do about it. Pierre France must not stop. It's true that some of us have been bought up. But we must continue to stand strong and be consistent to make sure that whatever we want to achieve, we achieve it collectively with those who are really fighting for the struggle, not those who are pretending. I think I've come to the end of this news. J. Biafra.